another day, not today. That's more on the left hand side. That's burning off. They're, they're burning like the bush to reduce the fuel load. Yeah, you're okay. It'll probably be a bit Down there, though, it's not going to be down towards Melbourne. Mount Tolbrook, probably. Yeah, down towards Melbourne. Mount Tolbrook. Right, we're going over there, we can see it. Luckily, we didn't meet them once. Right. Wow, that, that looks all right, Michael. Fireplace and all. Miller's hut. Oh, 
the video footage will make it worth the pain, Michael. <laughs> Across here, that's it. That's what I would do. Not as many people come up here, obviously. No. You see why the overgrowth is up there, crack condition. They all stop there and stop the water. Yeah, it's a good idea to close the window. So you got the weight, Michael, here. Oh, you have to go slow. Yeah, but they're, they're just going to lose traction and then gain traction. We used to call it walking up. Walking up, yeah. walking the tyres up, walking the car up. Show to go down the other side, it's it, and also shortcut back home. But, um, it's closed, it can't go through there anymore. Unfortunately, it goes straight down the side. Down the bend, near Ben Croak, and that mountain that says it's home. But it, it used to be divided into two up here. One went out to the centre, and I think you'll look. Now you're gonna ease up. Yeah, there's the net way back over there. Well it does seem to have it does seem to have real traction issues like this. No, it's just, it's got to let those, too stiff. You've just gotta let those tires down a little it's, bit, Michael. Nah, the suspension is too stiff. Oh it's not rough. That's a bit extreme there though, you really that was definitely you need long wheel travel. That's that was there. That's quite really a good effort. Just that was a good effort. Track to the left, or should we go to the Sentinels? Gable end, ah, oh, yes, where we're going to go, and the Sentinels is out that way. So we go to Gable end first, which is where the end of will be. That's where you go out to look at Toa Khan. Oh. Yeah, it's smoother. Why is it like this all the way?
know why it's called Gable End. See? I don't think I'll go at the end and have a look at the car. Get too late. Tom will get through here and back around. I'll leave that for another day. I usually aim just uh, sort of aim, usually end up aiming for the middle. Just yeah, no, I'm gonna go on the side. Just lead in the The important thing is not to go sideways, not to get sideways. No, that's not a problem. I'm just thinking when I drop over the edge, the bumper bar is gonna just go clunk yep. on the ground. And yes. Because I haven't taken it out before I hit on that rock. Yes. But my dear, the bumper bar doesn't matter if it gets uh, scratched anyway. No, but it, all the whole yeah, and big plate sits on it. And pointing it, downhill, you don't, you're not going to be stopped. Not as bad, but no, but it's just a tend to damage the bracing on it. Mm. It's just, it, it, it's it's slides out, I should just take it out. But yes. I realised this track on the side was like this, I would have taken it out before we come through here. But anyway. Too late now. with a going up here wheel spinning and digging all the rocks out. It makes it that much harder. Mm. There's another one there, and there's all opposite sides. I'd just go right hand side, it's, I'd bridge, yeah, I bridge that thing there. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, the side going to hit the side, but it doesn't, yeah, so there's nothing sharp there. Uh, the, it's the, the wheel travel, that's what's the Yeah, more of the articulation. Yeah, that's all I need. It can work, it can work against you though. Yeah, I think they really live, live rear axle, this, got, this, is, this, this is not a live rear axle, is it? Or yeah. independent or something? No, no. no that's no, why no. Live, live rear axles are good. Yeah. The diff lock would have got me through that without spinning at all. Um, but it sort of obviously this is the weight off the front and back that was the problem. So that's, uh, that's where the extra wheel travel comes in.
a bit of burning, burning, uh, not really oil. <laughs> no, 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 burning um, grass, dry grass no. and stuff. No, possibly underneath. There's a bit of dry stuff up there. Underneath the drop. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's just a little bit. It's interesting, it's relative after a while. Coming up the other side, I thought it was quite rough and rocky. After driving through that bit, I think it's smooth. <laughs> it's all relative, yeah. Goes in that ridge, Roger. You can see the track over there on top of the spur. That's Billy Goat's Bluff, runs right down that ridge line. See? Just see on I can see parts line. of it. Yeah. Down here. Over here. See a radio thing on the top of the tower, on top of that ridge over there, radio antenna. Do 
working with here. Yeah, yeah. Look at those ranges right out there. And those front of the ditches there right up on the corner of the door. Looks a long way. And it's 